Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's not regular programming again. Basically, I've been so busy, obviously. I've got my pods, which is one day a week. There's a lot of work that goes into it. I had all scared of the dark stuff last week. Then I was away on a trip with Millie, which she actually vlogs. Go check out her YouTube. And then I've just had a lot of work about things which I can't talk about, but hopefully I can talk about soon. One of them actually I can talk about. I'm filming a new prank series with Channel 4.0 with Nella Rose, Adiola Patron and Mario Musa and it is so fun, but those days are long. So I don't really have time to like come and film. And then I actually wasn't gonna film this today. Why do I do care? But basically I put my makeup on, been to the gym. My extensions, like I have about four or five tapes left. I've put loads of hair masks in the past two weeks and I think I've put it too close to the tapes and a lot of fallen out and I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I was gonna wait, but then I've looked at my week this week and I'm like, oh, I don't have five minutes to myself again. So I thought if I don't film it tonight, I'm not gonna film it. But this video is a really fun one because I know it's sitting down one, but as some of you may or may not know, I was in a brand new Channel 4 program that was on every night from Sunday to Thursday last week at 9 p.m. It was called Scared of the Dark. Basically, me and seven other people, like well-known celebs. I don't want to call myself a celeb because I would not say I'm a celeb. But seven other like actual real celebs were in there in a bunker for eight whole days in pitch black okay now i've had so many questions like people asking me things people telling me things people just chatting a lot about the show so i thought i'll just kind of put everything that i've seen to bed answer your questions and yeah just give you a little insight into a bit more insight into scared of the dark and if you've not seen it then you can stream it now on all four and i do actually recommend it um so yes a lot of you have said oh you're not in the dark like i can see you looking at things like guys <laughs> when i see tell you it was pitch black okay you couldn't see your hand in front of your face this is how i describe it to people okay when you close your eyes not with your hands in front of your face when you close your eyes that's not pitch black when you close your eyes and like press them down that is not how dark it was okay i couldn't see one thing for eight whole days the only time when we could see things was when we went to the vault which is kind of like the diary room and you sat down in a chair and there was a light kind of like on your face but because you'd been in the dark so long your eyes took so long to adjust so you'd see the light all i can see in front of me was a camera like i couldn't see the back of the room or anything because my eyes just weren't adjusting and then obviously if you one time in the light room but i never won time in the light room because i was at <laughs> the challenges so yeah that was the only time you saw light in the vault or if you one time in the light room a lot of people have said why have you got sunglasses on your head so obviously if you're in pitch black and then you go into the light like that can damage your eyes so what we would do is go into like this little middle room thing put sunglasses on or when we're in the vault we put sunglasses on and then they'd kind of bring the lights up really slowly so it'd take like three five minutes before you even had the light on you like it took a while and even then your eyes just wouldn't adjust I don't know so that's why we had sunglasses on a lot of you have asked why did you have sleeping masks on now one of the reasons is because of safety for if they had to for whatever reason bang the lights on when we were asleep then obviously our eyes wouldn't be like scared of the light and go like <laughs> Also, like, if you're in pitch black all day and you close your eyes, there's just no difference. So I found it really helpful for when I was going to bed to put the eye mask on and it would help me sleep. And then in the morning, even just, like, removing it. Because when you opened your eyes, you can f***ing see. You can f***ing see one thing. That was the weirdest part of it all. I mean, not that any of it was, like, even normal. But when you woke up in the morning and it would just be pitch black, like, that was really weird. And I don't think I ever adjusted to that, like, every morning opening my my eyes and it just being completely dark so that's why we had sleeping masks on i just find it useful and then you know obviously some days i'd left it on because i didn't even realize because i couldn't see no mirrors whatever so obviously i didn't have it on because i couldn't see what i looked like which is another kind of thing that you all ask me about like how did you get ready in the mornings why were you brushing your hair like so in the morning you'd get up and there was one shower one bathroom for us all and in there like i don't know if i'm allowed to say this and i might get in trouble but i'm just gonna say there wasn't a light you couldn't see so in the bathroom there was like a tiny little bead of light on the floor 
So you like could see the outline of where the toilet was and you could see the outline of the shower and the sink. But you had to like feel around. I couldn't see in the shower like the temperature or on and off. So like some days I get in maybe freezing cold or you know flashing around or it would be like really really hot. But obviously going to the toilet. So it was that obviously I knew where to like felt around for the toilet paper and it was just in the same place every day. So that was fine. Can't really think what else like getting ready. That was about it. You know I couldn't see. I didn't care what I looked like. So. So I just kind of got up. Obviously, I had my lashes done, which I'm really fucking should now. If you guys have seen it, then you'll know. The infrared cameras turned my eyelashes white, so they look like they had snow on them. So really pleased by that one. I did say to the producers, like, does any of you not fancy telling me that I looked a bit strange in the dark? But okay. So that was that one. A lot of you said, like, how did you know which bed you were in? I didn't realise <laughs> this. But around, so obviously the bed was like a big circle pizza. What I will say is the bed was like the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on, like really weirdly. And I had the best night's sleep there. But I wonder if it's because it was so dark. I don't know. Or if I was like so worn out because of the day. I didn't really do a lot. But I think the whole experience was overwhelming. So I think just by the end of the day I was a bit spent and just passed out. But around the bed in like, not Velcro, it was like, I don't know, some sort of material, and it had your surname, so I had Burrows, like, at the foot of my bed, but we couldn't find it, so Chris McCausland, he was on there, he's actually blind, um, but he was able to kind of figure out which, whose was whose, and then I just kind of worked out where my bed was from the sofa, so I would, like, walk, and I knew it was, like, two that way, like, two bed posts that way and then I knew the toilet was about you know a bit round then when I came back from the toilet I knew mine wasn't directly outside the door it was like one bed post away so that's how I remembered it I feel like there's a lot of questions in the dark like you know could you ever see anything well, obviously we couldn't but I will say my eyes like played proper tricks on me so on the first day I think I kind of got to grips with where things were I just remember I thought, because your eyes go, I don't know how to explain your, My eyes were knackered as well at the end of the day. Like, they were kind of exhausted and I just wanted to keep them closed. Because um, I think they were working overtime. I mean, I don't know the science. But my theory is that they were working overtime to see. And but obviously my brain and my eyes, like, my brain was like, hello, we can't see. And my eyes was like, no, come on, there's something there. But there wasn't. But I remember, like, sometimes I thought I could see, like, the table. And I, like, I would walk towards it and I couldn't, obviously, I I can see the table, I couldn't see anything. So there was that. One of the questions you asked was how did I do my hair? I don't know, like I just kind of guessed where things were. Like my pie wasn't in the middle. I made sure to brush it. What I will say, right, which I don't think they told you in there, but there were no plugs. So there was no hair straighteners, no hair dryer, etc. etc. And for those of you that have extensions, no, like if you wash your hair, you need to dry it and straighten it, otherwise they lose their condition, they get really awful. So I didn't wash my hair until like I think. I just kept dry shampooing it every day and then I think the day before the, the last day I just bit the bullet and did it and I just remember I was like pulling it to keep it straight so I did wash my hair the day before the last one. Everyone's saying did it smell or like whatever I don't think, I don't remember it smelling but I do remember like a lot of time I put my hand down and there'd be food and like just everywhere so we didn't see we didn't know what to do i just remember another thing there was a pantry i think you saw it in there but they just kept it stocked with like sweets biscuits like just anything you could want there was that was in the pantry because that was all we could really do is sit and eat like i'd already gained weight before i went in there but i gained so much when i was in there but i remember going in there and like i found tang plastics and tang plastics are my favorite sweet in the whole world right i found this tub and i thought right i'm gonna hide these because i want to eat them all i don't want anyone else to like keep Everyone, like, everyone was constantly eating biscuits and I was like, I love these, I don't really like biscuits. I'm going to hide them. And so I hid them and then I went back for them thought I got it, put my hands in it and it was like jam or something. I was like, no! I just got, I don't remember where I put it. And I remember as well, like what I thought the room looked like was so different to when I like saw it. It just didn't like, in my brain just didn't compute what it looked like. And then I remember going in the pantry and in my head it was like a really weird kind of like two triangles like this. And that's how what my brain thought. So every time I went in there I was looking for things. And then when the lights on I saw it, it was the most basic room like, rectangle with just shelving unit there shelving. and in my head like I had to like weave around like, I don't know why my brain just didn't compute that room I just used to always get stressed when I was in there looking for the water cooler or like trying to get a drink didn't know where the fridge was I could just hear it like I remember that was like a quite a big struggle well I how did I get dressed so I just packed 
four different tracksuits and like three leggings and crop top sets that were all like just plain colours. So I didn't really care if I mismatched them. Like I can't see it at the end of the day, but I would just feel around in my bag for like what it was. But I remember like one day I just could not find a top to save my life. Like I couldn't find a top to go under a jumper and it got quite hot so I like I had to ask them to wash a top for me because I had like my dirty washing in like we had like these crates and I just knew my bottom one was dirty washing no it wasn't bottom second from bottom was dirty washing bottom one was my slides and my trainers but that was it really like I was, that's I couldn't see like none of it matched I'm watching it back I can see that none of it matched but you guys didn't know that did you get along with everyone straight away I feel like everyone was really really nice in there like no one was nasty I just found a like, lot I was the youngest in there and I didn't have any experience in the industry and everyone had all these like, amazing stories and I, I couldn't relate on like that level. But like I said, I really got along with Nikki. Like me and her just clicked straight away. Scarlett and Moffat obviously and Donna, like, I was closest to them. But then with the boys, I'd already worked with Max, so I like love Max. He was stunning, like so lovely. Then I weirdly, weirdly, weirdly got along with Paul Gascon, which I just thought I would never do. Like, <laughs> what am I going to talk to about this old football about? But he, like me and him really, really got along. I think you see that towards the end. Um, Chris McCausland and again like we literally couldn't have done it without him I know it looked like I was saying always oh, grating on me grating on me but like I don't like being told what to do and I feel like everyone else was just like really grateful for him and his help not that I wasn't but I just remember thinking like why is no one listening to me and my suggestions like come on none of us you know can see the room but yeah we couldn't have done it without Chris M and I think he was the easiest person to talk to to be honest because he seemed like gen he seemed so interested in like what I did and I don't think he like he couldn't comprehend you know what happens after Love Island and all that so yeah he was lovely um then obviously Chris Eubank me and him just didn't get along we, I wouldn't say we we're like the best of mates it was cool like I can say that I've done something with Chris Eubank you know spent I can't remember how many days he's in there like four or five I just think we're just complete polar opposite I don't even think he knew like what Love Island was you know and not really a lot to say on that one I just yeah I know you lot picked up on him like saying about swearing I get what he's saying you know who wants to go on TV and swear loads because I know all of you f***ing middle-aged women are telling me off my direct comments yeah I mean he was a bit older like different generation I knew who he was but I didn't know like what he was like I think he built a career off like being a gentleman and that so him being around you know a little girl that's been on Love Island who can't stop effing and blinding I don't think I was his favourite in there I'll say that I don't think I was his favourite but he wasn't nasty like he was never nasty I don't think he had like bad intentions we just did not get along oh yeah <laughs> since this show has been on Fuck me if I had some really bad comments, like, fuck off, everyone is so moody. So someone said, was you really tired because you was in the dark? Yeah, I mean, we didn't know what time it was, like, I had no idea what time I was getting up, I didn't know, I remember one time they said, guess the time, and I just get, they didn't tell me if I was right or not, I'm pretty sure I was wrong. Because I met on the, on the actual show, like, on TV, it was like, you're getting up at 6am, and I thought it was, like, 9, I thought we were going to bed at, like, 9, 10ish, but... Could have been earlier. I don't know, like, there must be some science behind it, like, how long you should be hanging around in the dark all day. But, yeah, those are all the questions. And I feel like that's, oh, the one that I wasn't going to answer, which, you know what, you can fuck off, I'm going to answer it. Loads of people, like, obviously, on the first challenge, I bottled it because I was so scared, like, had a panic attack, physically didn't know what I was doing. Like, I've never, ever been scared like that in my life, you know. So, when I was approached for the show, I knew I was scared. Like, I have a phobia of the dark. Like, even now, I don't sleep in the dark. I don't like it, you, you know. I think that's pretty normal. I knew I was scared, but then I thought, I'm pretty like, how bad can it be? How bad can it be, you know? So, yeah, I said I'll do it, whatever. And I, I didn't realise how scared of the dark I was either, you know. I've never been in pitch black. And then I just remember when we did the challenge, no one had done a challenge yet, don't forget. So we have no idea what to expect. They hadn't told us what the challenges are. Like, we had no idea what it could be. Um, for me to do the first one, with no idea what it was going to be. And I remember I, I was already really nervous to do it. Yeah, I was naive. I thought I might be able to see the outlines of things, you know. I didn't know it'd be pitch black. And that's probably my attention to detail. But when I went in and did the challenge, well, didn't do the challenge, went in the room, there was like people with chains walking around i was so scared i thought come on like please i was scared and all of a sudden i was shaking i couldn't breathe and i was like okay like you're 
tier, you know, you actually don't have to do this, it's not a life or death situation. And I could hear like these chains walking and then she was like, you're not alone in here. And for such, like in my head, I was like, there's a scary, like a horror film, that they're actually gonna try and terrify me here. They wouldn't, but that's where my head, obviously I didn't know what the challenges were, I didn't know if they're gonna be scary. For all I know, the nun from the country was about to pop up in front of me and I was like, oh my God, I can't, I couldn't breathe. And I just couldn't bring myself to even walk forward. So I thought, I'm like, not really do it but i think like i did get used to it and then when i heard donna tell me the challenge even though obviously she did get caught i was a bit like oh and then we did like more and more challenges i did think like i just irrationally went to a place of pure horror as opposed to what it could have been but yeah that's why i did it and that's why like i did the show because i wanted to test myself like this is a mad opportunity why would i not want to be in the dark for eight days and just see what happens like are you all right so yeah so i did manage to do some challenges anyways that's the end of this video i feel like i've answered all your questions if you've got any more then put them in the comments and i'll try and reply but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'll see you all at some point. I was going to say next week, but I don't know when I'm filming again.